32 years ago, when the Altair system, Vesudan scientists discovered the remnants of an extinct civilization we now call the Ancients. And here we found the secret to defeating the Shivans. How close did we come to being a footnote in the history of a future species that would happen upon our ruins 10,000 years from now? Would they indulge in the fiction of their own immortality until the Shivans came for them? And how long had this gone on? Did the ancients stumble upon the monoliths and the tombs of their predecessors in this distant corner of space, dismissing the warnings carved in the walls of the sepulcher? And when the destroyers came at last, what did the ancients think as they sifted the cremation of dust and bones, staring into the mute remains for a key? Some solution to their plight. What if there had been countless races stretching back into infinity and like the nine cities of Troy, each civilization had been built on the rubble of one that came before, each annihilated by the Shivans. The ancients died 8,000 years ago. As humanity emerged from its Neolithic infancy, they believed their voyage across the Sea of Stars woke the dragon that slept beneath the waves, that the Shivans were birthed from the flux of subspace, and their destruction was the revenge of an angry cosmos. With recent victories on the Civil War front, the GTVA Security Council has authorized the deployment of two Dimos-class corvettes into the Nebular Theater of Operations. The Lysander and the Actium crossed the subspace portal at Gamma Draconis at 2335 hours and joined up with the Aquitaine's battle group. Mm, Dimos, very nasty. Four beam cannons on the front. On their last sortie, Epsilon and Iota wings encountered two Shivan warships. A Rakshasa-class cruiser designated the Iblis, and a Lilith-class cruiser designated the Azuras. Admiral Petrock has instructed our corvettes to hunt down and destroy these vessels. The 107th will provide fighter cover. Alpha Wing, your mission is to escort the Lysander and the Actium as they carry out this assault. Your first priority will be to eliminate all hostile fighters and bombers. Only then will you assist the corvettes with their strike against the Shivan warships. If we lose either corvette, you will abort the mission and withdraw from the field immediately. Please review your objectives for this mission. Alright, so yes, protect Actium and Lysander and take out those two cruisers if possible. Should be quite possible. We can use Myrmidons here, but as I've said, I think I have said that I prefer the Hercules in general. Very few situations called for the Labrador. Okay, gotta make sure everyone is with Subax. Because Prometheus are, as I've said, kind of suck. Okay, and, ah, pre equipped with swarm missiles, that's good. Now, I will take uh, harpoons, please. Wait, and we got... Oh, we got on off. We got rock eyes, we got furies, we got... Mates. Yeah, it's mostly going to be a fighter mission, so harpoons. Very good anti-fighter warhead. Steady as she goes. Those cruisers are somewhere in this vicinity. We're now converging on their last known position. Are you reading anything on sensors, Actium? Negative, Lysander. If we don't find them, they'll find us. I don't expect we'll be disappointed. The Shivans fought nothing but great war relics. We'll show them what firepower is all about. Yeah, that kind of talk gets people killed. I'm picking up something. A wing of enemy fighters closing in. Okay, just Mara's. No bombers. And that's flat, you can see. New feature to Free Space 2. I love that sound. Very crunchy. Okay, 
I'm actually not going to double up on guns at the moment because to hit the faster moving fighters it helps to have, well, you know, faster moving but lighter guns active. Okay, so we've got some more hostiles coming in over there. Somewhere. A King class cruiser now coming into view. As I said, a, l a lot of firepower. A lot of firepower. I want to try and stay out the um Yet again, command demonstrating their genius. Trouble is, it's very hard to see the beam coming as a fighter pilot focused on the actual dogfights. It's making me very nervous, the Lysander and Actium just plugging away there. It's good to have the harpoons, it means we can finish up quickly and get out the their firing line. Okay. Stick close to the All Deimos. Find that Rakshasa. Continue on your current heading. If you need to rearm pilots, now would be a good time. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. I think just about. Yes. With the technology they had 30 years ago, it's a miracle we won the Great War. Or oh, just skillful leadership no and shields, piloting. No flat guns, no beam cannon. Well, we had shields eventually. You hear about Kappa Wing? Vanished without a trace, five clicks from the Aquitaine. The patrol found the NTC Trinity, right? Yeah, that was Arthur Romick's ship. Hard to believe he turned traitor. Hey, Command, you gonna tell us what the Rebels are doing out here? You only informed on a need-to-know basis, pilot. Now kill the chatter and focus on your mission. It's always need to know. <laughs> right. Ah, I see hostile indicators coming up. New readings coming up on sensors. Incoming fighters. Okay. Scorpio. Not going to use my missiles because uh, everyone seems to be targeting him. Right, another one. He should go down without any help. Uh, let's help you along. Okay, bombers, bombers, Seraphim. Finish off this one, then we'll see if they've dropped any eggs. Okay, they didn't get a shot off. Okay, ah. Seems like things are proceeding as expected. Iblis now within range. All guns fire for attack. Okay, we want to stay out of that arc, uh, if possible. Something's targeting us, Maras. Woo! <laughs> yeah, stay down here, if possible. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That was uh, exciting. Now we can watch the fireworks show. So let's get behind uh, the Actium. That should be safe. You know, I would engage the Iblis because we get a free kill out of it. But, you know, I'm just too scared of... Uh, 
you know, them catching us in the crossfire. Happen. Happened before, rarely, but before. Oh, we have a new, new thing coming on. Me neither. Okay, let's finish it off. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, that that that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, Actium, I. I Yes, yes, sir. Going, going. Yes, sir. Unknown. Looks big, looks nasty. And killed one of our Corvettes. No! <laughs> the Sheevan warship we encountered has been designated the SD Ravana. Allied forces have been deployed to engage this vessel. Given the number of Sheevan fighters our wings have encountered, we knew an enemy destroyer had to be lurking somewhere within the nebula. Our impaired visibility and diminished sensor range made locating their base of operations difficult. Command hoped our offensive against the two Sheevan cruisers would lure the destroyer from its hiding place. Under these circumstances, there was nothing you could have done to save that corvette from destruction. Probably not, actually. Admiral Petrock has informed me that the 107th may be called in to reinforce the vessels attacking the Ravana. Suit up for your next sortie, pilot. Poor, <laughs> poor Alpha 3. Right at the end of the mission. No, I'm not sure how he managed to get killed. Maybe he flew into the Rav to the Ravana. I don't know. Uh, okay, kills and uh, yep, just bombers and fighters.